Welcome back guys. We have a new pick in the trap. Uh, this time in the Copeland area, we wanted to do the same experiment we did in the Marble Falls and Lake Travis area or in Copeland and see how these pigs travel over there. Um, do they travel further than we see in Lake Travis? Back to the, the current design and this is design 3.5. In the last video I got it wrong and I had to fix my audio all over the place. So this time I'm going to say it right. 3.5, uh, the big difference here, the, the buckle is much closer to the case. So as the hog uh, is having it around its neck, gravity is going to pull this case to the, the bottom of its neck. Um, belt buckle is going to be on the side, not on top. We will be um, adding uh, zip ties or one zip tie around this case. We'll be adding two zip ties probably on this uh, buckle uh, right in between here just to make sure this doesn't come off um, anyhow. And then I'm using over here now a 10,000 milliampere battery. And there's two different ones out there. Uh, one of them fits in this case and the other one is slightly too large. That's the other 10,000 uh, battery you can see dimension wise, uh, this one here is slightly bigger and that's causing it not to fit in this case. Um, this one's a little thicker, but we have enough space uh, to accommodate that. So the battery's all charged up, um, hoping that this should run easy two weeks and give us still enough time uh, to go after this pig and retrieve that pig. The worst case scenario, we have a sticker on here. Um, the writing is wearing off on the outside, but I also have my phone number inside I'm going to put a business card inside and whoever finds this pig before we get to it, there will be at least one free t-shirt if you find this and bring this tracker back to us. So uh, last time we had actually uh, Caleb uh, find our uh, first pig. First pig, we, we put a color around. There was no phone number, no sticker, no nothing on it. Uh, just a plain, uh, actually right here, that's the one retrieved. So this, this uh, color came back to us. I got a Facebook message. Uh, from Caleb, uh, all excited that he is 99% sure he shot my pig. And then I called him real quick and we talked about it. So I got up uh, at 3 o'clock, got alert, went out, shot two of them, and uh, went down just to confirm I killed them. And the one wearing the collar, um, when I walked up, I was like, oh, shit, this guy collar on. So that made me a little bit puzzled. After the phone call, uh, I went out to, to meet with Caleb, retrieved the tracker, retrieved the, uh, the collar. Uh, and uh, since then, uh, there's a new friendship building. He has three kids. Uh, I have three kids. That was a perfect fit. So if that happens here again, uh, if you guys happen to be in that area and you find that pig, because we don't know how far that pig will travel, um, yeah, stickers on there. You'll get some free swag if you call me, if you message me on Facebook, and uh, we get this back. I'm going to have uh, Carson uh, help uh, me today. Um, Carson. Uh, and Gary, they've been watching our channel for a long time. Uh, met with them a bunch of times, been hunting with them, and uh, Carson's gonna help me wrangle that pig um, just to make sure we're safe and uh, um, we can we can do that in a proper way. Uh, weather is a little drizzly today. It's gonna be potentially a little bit messy, maybe a little bit muddy, but it's all good. It's for a good cause. So let's get out there and take care of this pig. All right, we got the uh, pig number three now in the trap. Uh, luckily, he's smaller than I anticipated on the pictures, but it's another little boar. And just to continue our uh, naming pattern here, the last one, uh, first one was Two-Tone Toby, second one was Piggy Smalls, and then uh, Jin recently came up with Notorious P.I.G. That's gonna be Notorious P.I.G. Uh, tracker, I just need to make sure it's, this thing is running. So I need to plug this thing in, uh, connect to the battery. And also check on the app that's actually submitting. Next little beep sound. Uh, I'm gonna put the zip tie around this case. Try to grab this pig uh, on the hind leg. Pull it out, flap on the side, put the tracker on, and hopefully we get some good data back. So, let's get to it. Carson's gonna have you try to distract him a little bit. Yeah. I need him basically to the front somewhere. Oh, up in here? Yeah, and uh, anywhere in the front where I can potentially grab his legs. It's good when I... 
right in there because then I can close that trap door and like, pin, pin them in there. So you go over here, you want to see if you can... Oh, yeah. Hey! Now let, let him be for a second. Would it help if I held that gate for you? I'm um, letting my thumb rest for a second because it hurt quite a bit. But um. Why did you go over to the gator? Stand with Mr. Rock? Because I don't let him go here in a second. Go on. Go on. Go on. Bye bye, Pig Pig. So that took us a minute to put that tracker on. That pig wasn't the smaller side, maybe almost a little too small for my for my preference here. The tracker looked a little big on its neck, but I think it's gonna work. Hopefully it's gonna stay on there. I had to adjust the strap uh, quite a bit, so that it all just took time. But I got sit pads on it and uh, hope, hope it's gonna work. Uh, rain is, oh, weather is pretty bad. I think there's quite a bit of rain coming our way here any minute, and we got uh, drizzled on for a little bit. Uh, pig went back into the area where I thought they would stay. So there's a uh, uh, quite a wooded area down there. It's, I think where they better better down, and pig went straight down there. So I think that's probably one of the first spots we'll see where we see a concentration or we, where we can identify one bedding area. But then let's just find out over the next few days. Hopefully this tracker again stays on. And then we should be able to run this thing for w one week, two weeks at least, and see how far these pigs travel. Again, this, this one was on the smaller side. Notorious PIG, little boar. Let's see what he can show us. And this is where the story of Notorious PIG starts. On November 24th, he gets trapped in this little spot right here. There's a little hog trap, and that's where we put the GPS collar on him. Once we release him, he goes straight through this farm property. He barely clips this farm field, goes through the corner, and then hops over to the neighboring property. That's a property actually we can hunt on. Uh, he goes by this little tank, but looking at his track, you can probably barely see it, but there are green dots showing up along this track. That's actually where we have live tracking enabled, so lots of data points are coming back. The fact that he didn't slow down here, so there's no concentration of these green spots or even a red spot means that he just passed through he continues his journey down here into the thick stuff down here and then ultimately right in this spot. And that's one of the bedding areas we identified in this GPS run. 
he stayed in the spot for the rest of the day. And uh, late afternoon, 5 p.m., he starts moving again. Let me move the slider. He arrives down here at about 11, 12 a.m. Stays in here for the majority of the day, like I mentioned, and then come 5 p.m. right here, 5, 10, he moves out. Moves back across his property. And now here comes the interesting part. You can see here that I must have turned live tracking back on. Again, we have a concentration of data points, which are then visualized as a heat map, a green, green line and red dots. The red dot right here would be where they went to get some water. Now that same day, I actually offered to a neighbor of mine who is in law enforcement uh, to go out hawk hunting. I like giving back to the law enforcement community, especially folks in my neighborhood. So I offered to take him out and we end up being the same property because I knew that these hawks are coming out pretty early, 5 p.m., 6 p.m. sometimes. So at this point, we actually posted up right back here along these trees right here, um, which gives us a decent view of the tank corner right here. And then you can actually see my feeder. However, that satellite image is old. This feeder has moved down here. So from this spot up here, we can see this feeder down here. Now come 5.30, something like that, we see some hawks moving in the thermal. And it seems to be two, two groups. One group is aiming more towards this feeder. The other group seems to be going the other side of the tank. And I wanted to make sure that we don't end up shooting notorious PRG. So I just pull up my phone, check the app, make sure that I know where the pig is. And sure enough, I see notorious PNG probably about right here. Or well, somewhere in between here. I see that pig coming in. So I go ahead and enable live tracking. Hey, so I'm out here at Rattlesnake Farm. And uh, the reason I'm out here, actually, I wanted to take this gentleman over here, Wayne, uh, out hunting. And um, he's a good neighbor of mine and also in law enforcement. So I felt like giving back. And I didn't even mean to make a video tonight because everything was about this guy and getting him in the hog, which we did. But uh, the, the, the interesting part is I just tagged today, I tagged another hog with the GPS tracker. Uh, it's a small little boar, notorious PIG. And uh, he was bedded down not far from here, just at the end of the property, there's an, a wooded area and uh, it seems to be the bedding area. And as we're standing here waiting for some pigs to come in, the feeder and the tank, I think it was like, what, 6 p.m. or something? It wasn't, it was, yeah. it was super early still. Yes, because 621, I said, we already have a hawk going around. 6 p.m. or something, hawks come in, but we had two groups coming in. And I just wanted to check my phone just to make sure that somehow we don't put a short stop to the Torres PRG's uh, life here. And then sure enough, on the tracker, on my, on my app, I see that I turned live tracking on. I see that this hawk is right next to us. So we had two groups coming, one at the feeder, which is kind of down there. Um, the tank is right behind us and the notorious PRG was part of the group which went for a swim in the tank group briefly. And, uh, and then we decided to shoot the hawks at the feeder because I didn't want to put notorious PRG already on the ground. Uh, Wayne made a fantastic shot on this piggy right here. Um, I kind of wanted to wait for him to take a shot and then by the time we got to shooting, his pig went in front of mine. Eh, it's just a bad story. I think somehow I, I didn't, I didn't hit the pig. So we had three pigs to the feeder, one was in the ground. I didn't hit, but Wayne got his. So that was the whole purpose of the, the trip here. And uh, I'm just, I'm just surprised to see that pig with the tracker come in that early, and then we are able actually see it on the on the app. That's that's just pretty cool. So notorious PIG's journey continues. After we took a shot at the group on the feeder, he and his posse travel north and that's about a 1.5 mile trip here so if you guys ever wonder where do they go once you shoot at them in this case i do know they went straight up north didn't spend much time in between so I really took the quickest route here uh, you can see there's barely any stop in between and then started to feed in the farm field and then from here move in the neighboring field go around in here quite a bit 
Uh, and you can see we have some some dotted lines here. So what I experienced here in this area is that the cell signal hasn't been very good. In a time where there was no cell signal, I lose the GPS data. So nothing shows up and all of a sudden at some point, there we go, is a big jump from one location to another. And we identified uh, this place back here as yet another uh, bedding area. In conclusion, and looking at this complete data set now, what I realized and was able to learn from this is that these pigs living in areas where there's lots of food sources, water sources close by, they don't have to travel as far. So if you compare this to our last track in the Marble Falls area, hill country, basically no farm fields, they have to move much further to keep up their food intake. So food is not as readily available close by as it is in this area right here. So over the period of 11 days, Notorious PIG has stayed in an area of about two square miles. So this is a much smaller area than we have seen in Marble Falls, where these pigs have to travel much further to get to the food sources they need. But also is interesting and something to highlight is this crazy track. You can see there's one particular area of interest, which is this ditch area. So people who have access to this property, hunt this property, I would probably post up along this, this ditch area. This seems to be a high interest area. I don't know why. I don't know how there's maybe more food to be found for them than in the rest of the field. But right here, a large concentration. Secondly, these pigs have stayed on this property for two to three days, have not even left this property. They went from the bedding area up in here into this field, went along this, this um, what I assume is a ditch, I guess it's a terraced field, up and down this field a few times, back into the bedding area and done. They also have a, a water source. There is a tank right here, which they used as a water source, and that's it. Unfortunately, this 10,000 million per battery has not lasted as long as I was hoping for. Uh, I believe recently I said two weeks easy. Well, it turns out that 11 days was the end of that story. Uh, I believe the reason for that is that we have experienced some really low temperatures uh, in this time frame, where temperatures dropped all the way down to 27 degrees Fahrenheit, so below freezing. Uh, and I don't think these LiPo batteries are doing very good in cold temperatures. So that must have affected the lifetime of this battery uh, significantly to the fact we now I have yet another dead GPS tracker out here. Luckily, we know that these pigs are staying in this area. So the chances of us coming across the, this group of pigs with uh, notorious PRG um, are fairly good. Worst case, I know that there's other people in this area hunting pigs. Uh, hopefully one of them finds my GPS tracker. What I'm going to do next is looking into improving this battery life even more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this data is still pretty interesting to us. Uh, we will continue doing these experiments and we'll share these out with you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back.